at a size so tiny, the human mind cannot possibly comprehend it. Physicists are now trying to understand what's called the Planck length, 10 to the minus 33 power centimeters. That's 20 factors of 10, 20 orders of magnitude smaller than an electron. Now, an electron is yay big, and I exaggerate a lot. So the Planck length is just almost unimaginably smaller than any objects we can actually measure. Nevertheless, physicists are trying to deal with these scales, and that's what string theory is all about. String theory says that everything that we think of as a particle is actually a tiny vibrating loop of string. To get an idea of how tiny it is, I have here an eyedropper. We're going to put out one drop of water. That has about a trillion trillion atoms of hydrogen and oxygen. Now imagine taking one hydrogen atom and blowing it up by 10 billion times. It becomes about half a meter across. And you might say, can we now see the individual strings inside that hydrogen atom? But the answer is no. We can continue to make it bigger, make one hydrogen atom the size of the solar system. The strings are still too small to be seen. It's only when we make that atom the size of our observable universe that a string becomes macroscopically large. If one hydrogen atom is as big as the whole observable universe, how big is a string? Only about the size of one of these trees. The amazing thing is that we human beings can even talk sensibly about what exists at this microscopic scale. Not only can scientists talk sensibly, they've also formulated theories about what happens down there. This is really one of the holy grails of 